And we are on our way to Disney World. Elaine is with my parents and they're gonna meet us there. We are going to the Contemporary first because we are going to have lunch at the Wave uh, because the Wave is amazing and it's like my parents' favorite place to get lunch. So we're gonna go get there um, and then we're going to do Magic Kingdom probably. <laughs> we have fast passes for Magic Kingdom. It all just depends on how busy everything is because if it's like insane we may do something else. I don't know what we're going to do. I know for sure we won't be doing Hollywood Studios because it's been insane. The Osborne Lights and the closer it gets to Christmas, the busier it is. And then because this is the last year of the Osborne Lights, it's um, pretty insane. So all the pictures that we've seen of like the last weekend have been like a definite no-go for us. So we're not going to do that. We've already done it this year, so that's going to be the end of that. Magic Kingdom it is, and maybe we'll go try and do Epcot if it's not too insane. Who knows? I think it's Neil Patrick Harris this weekend. I'll have to look it up. So that may be a no-go as well, because just crazy. So we may end up walking around the different resorts and looking at all their Christmas decor, because they all have amazing trees and decorations. And we wanted to do that this year, but it didn't happen. My parents usually do it, but they've been doing stuff with us while they've been out here. And we did Mickey's Very Merry, which is kind of what we did in lieu of that. So. Yay! We haven't been back since. Uh, what? Very oh, Merry? Yeah. We've been a little Disneyed out. And honestly, I've looking forward to this. Yeah. Been a few weeks and uh, I'm ready to get back into uh, the parks. We've also been really busy. Like we've there had we something the, every week. Sorry to over there. We got the cones out. To oh yeah. To for Hollywood Studios. Yep. For Osborne Lights. Because I guess they're going to, they, they're probably going to close the. Bell Reach capacity today. There's without a doubt. Oh yeah. Capacity. They're definitely going to like close the um, parking lot in like two hours. I guess the average that they've been closing is at like three. And look how pretty the sky is today. It is a beautiful day. And then we drove like 30 seconds. The and actual like exit off this road for Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And there's a big sign that says that you have to park at Epcot because Hollywood Studios parking is already full. Now what I have learned, because they've been putting a lot of articles out, Say you don't pay attention to that sign, you actually still get off and head towards the parking lot. They will, you'll get to the gate and they will force you to U-turn and go to Epcot. Yeah. So, listen so, to the signs. Yeah, so they're having everybody park yes, at Epcot. Right. Next right, Epcot parking. I'm pretty sure that this is my parents in front of us right here in their rental car. Pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But it'd be funny if it was. <laughs> so cold. It. So cold. <laughs> we just waved at them through like the little kiosk where you get in for the parking and everything. So we're headed to the contemporary for lunch. Yay! We are waiting for our reservation at the wave. I on a Mickey ear. That's right, you're on a Mickey ear. Can you help them? Good job. So we're finishing up dinner at the or lunch at the wave right now. I got their vegetarian curry stew by added chicken, which is amazing. Highly recommend it. Actually, tasted like chicken was actually supposed to be in the stew. Uh, we're Sarah's changing Evelyn right now. She had an explosion, so we have to get her a new outfit. And I think we're going to swing by the Grand Floridian to look at their Christmas display, and then we're going to be heading into the Magic Kingdom to start our day. Elaine, where are we? Where are we, Elaine? Disney. We're at Disney. Are you sure? Does that look like Disney to you? It's Christmas Disney. Is that a good Disney? Yeah. So this is a little chaotic. They have like all this on one side, and the other side is completely empty. So uh, when you're actually in line for the bag check, careful. There's like all the lines are intermixed. You can't tell where one starts and one the other ends. It's it's absolutely horrible. Like this is. I'm sorry to say, but this is the dumbest I've seen Disney do bag check. 
ever. Our first fast pass is Peter Pan. We're gonna swing by the Skipper Cantina, see if it's in a soft opening now, because really there's not that much time left for it to open up this year, if they're gonna open it up this year as they claim they will. Game and time for the parade. You see Mickey? Still love that tree. Very great tree. They definitely got the signs up. Skipper Canteen. Yeah, while well, we can see this up there. They are really cutting it close to the end of the year to get this thing open. Someone is demanding ice cream right now. Me. Yeah, you. That's right. So we're gonna go check on the line and the Dolwood. So since the last time that we were here, which was almost exactly a month ago, they've completely redone the nursing rooms. So uh, the wallpaper's gone. It's been repainted like a really pretty baby blue. The only problem with that is, is that it's made the room a lot brighter. And I kind of liked when it was nice and dark. Sorry, I'm trying to like maneuver around people as I go because we're meeting Peter Pan. They're, the old rocking chairs are gone, which I kind of like the rocking chairs. They weren't bad. They were nice and comfy. You could tell that they've been there for a while. Now they are really, really nice, cushy, big, lazy boys. Uh, so the room is kind of cramped, and I think there's only three of them in there where there used to be four rocking chairs. So that kind of stinks, especially since I waited about 10 minutes to get a spot. So, all right, it's really crowded, so I'm gonna let you guys go and do what I need to do. is insanity. This is the busiest that I've ever seen in the parks ever. So, yay for that, I guess. I mean, it might have been this busy when we were here, like when I was little. And actually, now that I've said that, like this back portion isn't that bad. Uh, it's I've seen it a lot worse. It'll be interesting to see what's around this corner. I'm actually gonna park the stroller. So here, now I'm gonna start walking through this now that I don't have a stroller. So. It's not that bad, but I mean, you can see there's a ton of people everywhere. So, <laughs> getting a little bit of what mm -hmm. it looks like. So, I mean, there seems to be more people coming this way than there are going this way. I do like that they have cast members out here telling you what side of the sidewalk to stay on. So... like I beat them here so I'm gonna look around the corner here and see what it looks like in this main hub area because it looks crazy because normally it's this bottleneck here in between Small World and Peter Pan that's the worst but this is pretty bad like I'm not that tall but... so you can kind of see yeah, this is the insanity we're here today in, so, yay us. I think this is the first time that I've actually been, like, completely all alone. Huh. Feels kind of weird. Moment. I'm actually going to get to use the bathroom by myself, so... This is pretty exciting. It is packed. Very, very much so. Hey, there's a line for that home, fell home magic. It's only 15 minutes, but it's still a line. Never seen that before. Are you ready for Peter Pan? Ready? Here we go. Off to Neverland. That was our first time back on Peter Pan since the refurbishment. Sarah thinks the boats are wider, they're either lower or wider, but you are much closer to the animatronics now than you were beforehand. So that's interesting. There's some people working up there on the castle. Don't know how you guys can see it, but definitely up there working on the castle. Dancing over there. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> now, okay, let's, let's create this in the image. So you open the present, and what's your reaction going to be? <gasps> jump, jump, jump. <laughs> How much you guys can see right now it's a little dark one thing I uh, at least one thing I did want to cover with you guys is that we ate dinner at the Sleepy Hollow kitchen is it called? Uh, Sleepy Hollow Tavern Ca yeah it's it's a little stand between the castle and like Liberty Square and they're known for their chicken or and Sleepy waffles yeah but uh so what we got <laughs> end up getting there it, very it was not a healthy dinner because it was a lot of well, there was chicken and waffles, which the it normal was, chicken and waffles it's is a sweet and spicy chicken and waffles. So it comes with a chicken breast that's been fried, and then it has like a it's kind of like a Thai chili type sauce. Like it's not buffalo, but I couldn't no, tell you what else it is. It's sweet and very spicy, but good. And it's supposed to come with a broccoli slaw and a couple other things that my mom got off. But you can, if you don't like spicy, you can get the just the breaded chicken, and the chicken itself is good. I, I will say it does yeah, have, it, it does pack quite good. a bit. Today. I ended up getting a, a ham, prosciutto, and Swiss prosciutto, prosciutto, prosciutto. Uh, waffle sandwich. Sorry, <laughs> but it was it was very good. It came with like a sauce, it, not exactly a mayonnaise, not exactly like a tzatziki sauce, but somewhere like it kind of in between those. An I didn't try it, but I'm guessing based on what he described, that's what it is. It was very good. The uh, the waffle itself is good, and the, I mean everything else was just a kind of a cold sandwich. And then she ended up getting a waffle and yeah, hazelnut. Yeah, I got yeah, I got what was the um, the fresh fruit waffle, and what it is is it's the waffle, and they put a ton of Nutella on it, and then blueberries, strawberries, and banana, and they are fresh. Um, I think they also put a syrup over the top of it, but I got the fruit on the side because I, I don't really like putting things on other things. Like I like things very plain, so I ate the the waffle with Nutella on it first, and then I ate the fruit. <laughs> Everybody ate the fruit. Yeah, so that was that was really good. The ratio was good. Yeah. Oh. Yep. <laughs> it's packed tonight. It is. Very busy. It's very, very busy. One of the cast members earlier was saying that this weekend starts four weeks of their busiest time of the year. 
and pretty much this is the least busy it's going to be until the end of that four weeks. And here we go! I'm gonna drop my phone. <laughs> Just the video does not do it justice. So I'm gonna take a picture. We do not fit together on a shoulder. <laughs> she is smashing my knees <laughs> against the side of the rocket. It is not pleasant. I am shifting around as much as I can to save myself the pain. There's the camera. Here we go. And I'm gonna put this away before we go. There's the other camera. Hi, camera, camera, camera. Camera, camera, camera. There is the castle. Bring it out of the house, back again, pull back again, pull back again, go higher in the sky. Whee! You got some of the night view from the Astro Orbiter. Look at all the lights on Main Street. Very contemporary. Ooh, fireworks. That must be Epcot. So Epcot closes at 9.30, so they have fireworks at 9.30. That's probably Epcot. That's finishing up. Well, they have illuminations. It's illuminations. It's fireworks. They shoot up fireworks with Adder. See the tree? There's the tree. Uh, castle, castle, castle. Bell's castle. I don't know how much you guys can actually see because of how fast we're going. Probably not much. But we'll we'll try. Here we go! Here we go! Whee! Oh, and there goes my knee. Next time we're here, the tree will probably not be. Very depressing. So one final lovingly look at our Christmas tree at Magic Kingdom.